A traditional grammar is a framework for the description of a structure of a language. The roots of traditional grammar are in the work of classical Greek and Latin philologists. The formal study of grammar based on these models became popular during the Renaissance. Traditional grammars may be contrasted with more modern theories of grammar in theoretical linguistics, which grew out of traditional descriptions. While traditional grammars seek to describe how particular languages are used, or to teach people to speak or read them, grammar frameworks in contemporary linguistics often seek to explain the nature of language knowledge and ability. Traditional grammar is often preferred by prescriptive grammarians and may be regarded as unscientific by those working in linguistics. Traditional Western grammars generally classify words into parts of speech. They describe the patterns for word inflection, and the rules of syntax by which those words are combined into sentences. Among the earliest studies of grammar are descriptions of Sanskrit, called Dayak era A. The Indian grammarian Haini wrote the Ahabyana descriptive grammar of Sanskrit sometime between the 4th and the 2nd century BCE. This work, along with some grammars of Sanskrit produced around the same time, is often considered the beginning of linguistics as a descriptive science, and consequently wouldn't be considered traditional grammar despite its amicity. Although Paulini's work was not known in Europe until many centuries later, it is thought to have greatly influenced other grammars produced in Asia, such as the Tolkapiam, a Tamil grammar generally dated between the 2nd and 1st century BCE. The formal study of grammar became popular in Europe during the Renaissance. Descriptive grammars were rarely used in classical Greece or in Latin through the medieval period. During the Renaissance, Latin and Classical Greek were broadly studied along with the literature and philosophy written in those languages. With the invention of the printing press and the use of Vulgate Latin as a lingua franca throughout Europe, the study of grammar became part of language teaching and learning.